Hey, what's better than a stock? A cheap dividend stock. We ran a screen for you, dear dividend investor, and we've located three cheap dividend stocks that you should know about, but probably don't. Remember, this is not financial advice, nor is this a recommendation to go out and buy anything. What's up? I'm Russ, a passionate passive income investor, a community member, and a welder sharing information to help us all become better dividend investors. So we ran a screen using the free and fantabulous finviz.com for dividend stocks that were paying any yield, a super low long-term debt to equity, a return on equity of over 15%, and a price to earnings growth ratio of under one, meaning that we're getting value plus some earnings growth as well. Now we'll be moving quickly through these and using simplysafedividends.com. So if you need to pause the video and get yourself a little bit of a better look-see, please do, and you can find the investor relation links for these companies in the description below. First up is Gentex, ticker GNTX, which makes special mirrors for cars that automatically dim to reduce glare, along with other cool stuff like windows that can change how much light they let in for airplanes, and they also create safety products like smoke detectors and alarms for buildings. So Gentex is a $7 billion mid-cap market cap stock with a dividend safety score of 99, very safe. So the dividend has been frozen for a few years, but they have a five-year CAGR of 4%. And they'll be going ex-dividend on January 4th, paying out 12 cents a share, good for 48 cents every year. Now, their dividend yield is about 6% below the five-year average, but their PE is also below. Historically, they've had a really low free cash flow ratio, only 36% payout ratio the last 12 months. Free cash flow of $1.35, easily able to cover that 48 cent annual dividend. Their margins do look pretty good. Total sales going up into the right. They have been buying back shares pretty consistently since about 2015. Currently down to 230 million shares outstanding. Good to see these historical return on equity and return on invested capital numbers just very very healthy and they keep repeating it which means it doesn't look like it's a fluke. Really nice margins and like we talked about clean balance sheet no net debt which is something we love to see. Good old Morningstar gives Gentex a four star rating and a fair value of about $38. Next we have Marine Products, ticker MPX, which makes and sells power boats for sports, fishing, and leisure, with brand names like SSI Sport Boats and Robalo Outboard Sport Fishing Boats, and they sell them through dealers both in the United States and around the world. Marine Products is a $335 million micro cap business, currently trading under $10 a share. So hey, those of you that like to get whole shares of stocks for under $10, you are in luck. A bit more of a choppy history with the dividend, but still they have a five-year CAGR of 11% and they last raised it 8%. Currently paying 56 cents per share per year. Pretty low free cash flow payout ratio of only 36% currently. That $1.54 of free cash flow per share per year easily covers the 58 cent dividend. Like many businesses with COVID that threw a monkey wrench into the their business machine, but they've recovered nicely and they've had some real nice sales growth as their total sales have been going up and to the right in general. Share dilution, very slightly, nothing much, but they only have 34 million shares outstanding. Really high return on equity, really high return on invested capital going back to about 2016, 2015. And again, no net debt to speak of, so really clean balance sheet. And they currently have $710.58 of operating income to cover every every $1 of interest expense, which that is what the interest coverage ratio is. Morningstar gives no rating for marine products, but Schwab rates them a B, and alphaspread.com has an intrinsic value of about $18, making them almost 50% undervalued. Oh, hey, by the way, don't forget that Seeking Alpha has a Black Friday sale going on until December 5th, where you can snag an annual subscription for 30% off their regular price of $230. 
$39. Bucks. You'll get a seven-day free trial and pay $167 after that if you use my affiliate link in the description below. And then we have Shutterstock, ticker SSTK, which offers a wide range of pictures, videos, and music that people use for their websites, marketing materials, books, and more. They also have different brands like Big Stock and Offset, and they help all kinds of businesses and creators find the perfect content they need for their projects. Shutterstock, also unrated by Simply Save Dividends, they are a $1.58 billion small cap company with a 2.46% dividend yield. They've only been paying that dividend since about 2019, but the last dividend growth full year was 14%. They went ex-dividend November 29th, but they do pay out $1.08 annually, which if you divide that by four, my mathing tells me that it is indeed 27 cents. And it does look like they are getting ready for another dividend increase early next year. Really low free cash flow payout ratios warms the cockles of my heart. We love to see that. Only 36% the last 12 months. That $2.94 of free cash flow per share can easily cover the $1.08 dividend per year. Total sales marching up and to the right. You gotta love that. Shares outstanding. They have slightly diluted, currently at $36.3 million. Return on equity since 2020 has been very nice. Same thing for return turn on invested capital. Always love to see those in the mid-teens and higher, but they do have very nice margins from what I can tell. And again, we have that clean balance sheet with no net debt and a really, really sky high interest coverage ratio. Morningstar also has no rating for shutter stock. Schwab gives them a C and alphaspread.com has an intrinsic value of about $53, making them about 17% undervalued. Now, I personally don't own any of the stocks we talked talked about here, but if you do want to see a conversation with somebody that has skin in the game and exactly what stocks that they have recently been buying, well, in the floating little box next to my head, friend of the channel, Sean, the millionaire dividend investor, returned to talk about 20 dividend stocks that he has been adding to his million dollar plus dividend portfolio as of late. So if you click that box, we will talk to you there.